Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin for Runner 255S and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to, to turn on our watch and to turn it on press and hold the light button and keep holding it until you see the Garmin logo on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. One thing to mention while the watch is turning on, you can pair this watch with a phone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the other way is to do it through the settings once the, once the watch was already set up because you can set up the watch without pairing it with your phone. So first I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process. Then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so once you turn on the watch and it's been reset to the factory default settings or it's brand new, you will see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by using the up and down buttons, find the language you would like to use on your watch, select it and then press the start stop button to uh, confirm. And as you can see now we're being asked if you want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do it, so press the start stop button and the watch will enter the pairing mode. Basically that's how it looks like. So we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our phone. So make sure you have the internet connection Bluetooth enabled. Open the uh, Play Store. In the Play Store tab on search, type in uh, Garmin Connect and tap on search. You will see this application on the list. Tap on the install button. Wait until the application is done installing. And once it's done installing, we can tap on the open button to open the application. So let's tap on open. In the app you will need to log in into a Garmin Connect account. If you don't have an account you can tap on create account button right here. Or if you have an account you can tap on sign in. I already have one so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, tap on next. And now I will need to enter the email address and password so give me a couple of seconds. Okay, and then we can tap on next uh, to log in. Oh, apparently I entered the password wrong, so let me try again. Okay, this time it was okay. And after you log in, you will probably see this pop up on the screen about the uh, access to the connected devices or nearby devices. You need to tap on allow access, tap on allow. And once you allow the permission, the app will start searching for the nearby devices and it should detect your 250s uh, music. Tap on the connect button to connect it. Here tap on allow. Now tap on pair. Then tap next. Here we can set up a bedtime. This is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep. Basically uh, mute your watch uh, when you're sleeping. And you can set up the time on which you go to bed by tapping on this column right here. Then you can set the time on which you wake up. And then you can tap on next and tap on yes if you want to turn on the do not disturb mode during sleep or no to keep it disabled. And here we can allow the notification for or rather permission for the notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to see the notifications, tap on allow notification access, tap on allow. And here we have the uh, location permission. This is useful if you want to, for example, have the uh, weather for your location, um, track um, some activities on the map, like running and cycling and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to allow the permission, tap on allow notification, uh, or rather permission for the location. Uh, tap on permissions and tap on the location, tap on allow all the time or allow only while using the app. If you select the, while using the app, the app will bother you to allow it all the time for some reason, um, but you can use it if you want to. I'm gonna allow it for all the time, go back, and then we can allow the calendar access. This is useful if you want to track the events on your calendar, manage them and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to allow the calendar access, tap on allow and allow. Next we, next we have the a call for log access. This is useful if you want to see who is calling you on your phone. So basically you will receive the notification that somebody is calling you. 
and if you allow call access you will see the uh, number or the name of the call same for the phone call access messages you can of course deny all of them by tapping on skip you don't need to allow them and then you can tap on sync now finish and here we have a tutorial we're gonna skip it but you can tap on next to go through it finish and now you should see the home page of the app you can tap on more uh, garmin devices and you should see your for a runner 230 oh no never mind 255 s my bad right here on the list of devices and you can tap on it to open the device page for it okay uh, now i'm gonna disconnect it from our phone quickly and i'm gonna show you how to pair it uh, when you're already set up when the watch is already set up so let's say your watch is already set up you don't want to reset it you want to pair it with other phone to do it press the uh, press and hold the up button to open the menu then scroll through the menu by using the up and down buttons find the option called uh, connectivity press start button select phone press start button scroll down select pair phone press start button and the watch will enter the pairing mode now download and install the app i'm just gonna open it and uh, log in and after you log in allow the required permissions the app will detect your watch but once you if you have the app already installed and you're logged in you can tap on more um, tap on garmin devices add device the app will detect your watch tap on connect it allow and basically follow the same steps as we did it before so go through all of the stuff the permissions stuff like that And once you go through all of this uh, uh, stuff with like permissions and stuff, uh, the syncing, the uh, do not disturb mode during sleep, you will see the home page again. You can tap on more and Garmin devices and you should see your 255S right here on the list of devices. You can tap on it to open the device page. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video, helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video